Hello everybody, you guys are watching the ITK HQ and this is going to be top 4 city tweak for this particular week. So a lot of good uh, and actually a lot of great uh, tweaks got updated for iOS 8 this particular week. So I decided to do a quick little video for you guys. Now there's going to be one new city tweak which we'll be taking a look at right now. But then there will be three city tweaks that got updated for iOS 8. So the first tweak we'll be taking a look at is going to be Apex 2. It's a pretty great tweak. It's not a new tweak at all. It got updated for iOS 8 today and it was actually available before as well. So for iOS 7 and this iOS 8 update doesn't really bring any new changes or any new features. It's just got the compatibility with iOS 8. That's pretty much it. Now basically Apex allows you to um, kind of make uh, app bundles. So it kind of allows you to stack apps and kind of make bundles just like folders. So you can have uh, similar apps and like bundles and it's a lot more attractive and works a lot better than just folders. So for example I've got Spotify right here. Now Spotify comes under the category of music. So if I swipe from here you guys can see I've got SoundCloud Music Shazam iTunes Store right here. It's a pretty great um, tweak and it's implemented really well. So for example I've got Inbox if I swipe this down I've got Drive and Gmail. Similarly I can go like this and I've got Overcast and Instacast. This is basically the other podcast apps. <coughs> so this is essentially uh, again I've got Hangouts Messenger as well right underneath the Messenger app which is the messaging apps right there. So this is Apex. Uh, Apex. Now let me show you guys how you can make um, this kind of bundle. So essentially, first of all, for example, I'm here in, at in Google app. It doesn't have any uh, app. So just go ahead and swipe up or swipe down. You guys can see if you have got four circles or four uh, kind of plus buttons. So I can just tap one of these. It brings me to this particular menu right here. So from where I can select uh, related apps right here. So these are the kind of the suggestions. And then these are all the third party apps. Now you can also search for an app as well just by tapping this. And there we go, you can just search for it. So since we are working with Chrome, sorry, Google, so Google goes well with, um, I don't know, let's say Drive, there we go. So now we have Drive right here. So now when I swipe, I've got Drive right here to be accessed. So really great, really neat tweak, and it's uh, for $3, it's for a new purchase, and if you guys are, all, if you have been using it, with iOS 7 then it's a free update for iOS 8 as well. Number two we're going to be taking a look at is IntelliScreen X. So IntelliScreen X is as you guys can see is a pretty neat tweak. It basically works on uh, on notification center. It's like a notification center tweak but it also works with a lock screen as well which you guys can see. Let me go ahead and open that up as you guys can see. So as you guys can see I've got all my notifications right here. So I've got mail, I've got Instagram, then I've got Twitter. On top, I've got weather forecast, I've got my date, time, if not that. And I've got my RSS feed coming over here as well. And if I go ahead and swipe, you guys can see I can access my Twitter feed directly from my lock screen. So it's pretty useful. And there we go. And then you can also um, kind of tap on this and like open it up and do that stuff again. And then I can swipe again. I can access my mails from here and again I can access Facebook there you go I've not connected to Facebook and I've got my RSS feeds here as well so these are side tech from Google News NY Times top stories everything like that and then you can just simply just unlock your device you can also access this from notification center as well so I've got ISX right on the top then we've got mail there we go then Twitter Facebook, RSS, then we have got today, which is a pretty familiar site. This is IntelliScreen X. It actually is for not ten dollars, but it also comes with three uh, three day free trial as well. So you can just test it out. I'm actually running that three day free trial, uh, but it's a really excellent tweak. Third, we'll be going to be taking a look at SpringTomize three. Now, SpringTomize three is brilliant. Uh, it is probably one of my favorite tweaks, and uh, I just love this tweak quite a bit. As you can see, you it's basically you can it has basically so like tweaks, hundreds of tweaks within a tweak. So basically, for example, if you want to remove labels, you're going to resize icons, 
maybe you want to, I don't know, maybe you want get, to get a curveful dock, whatever. Uh, well, this is what you need. So basically, this allows you to do all of that, and you don't really have to download separate tweaks basically to do that. So it's been obviously it's probably like one of my favorite tweaks. So as you guys can see, if I go over to folders, I've got nested folders on, pinch to close, um, transparent background. You got you can do tons of things as well. For example, pages. So we can hide the dots, disable spotlight. Uh, you can resize the icons as well. Um, what else? Uh, change the color of the background of the control center. Change the animation speed. Uh, in the status bar, you can have different stuff as well. Um, so in lock screen, as you guys can see, I've got the ITKHQ media written. So this is just what Spring to Mind is all about. For example, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and enable uh, cover flow effect. Then we will in icons. Let's go back. In pages, we will resize the icons. We'll hide the labels as well. And uh, status bar, we will change uh, the custom carrier, carrier, or maybe custom time. Uh, we will say, I don't know, maybe Apple. Let's write Apple. Write that. So that's that. We'll go ahead and respring our device, and we'll wait to see the changes. Alrighty, as you guys can see that uh, the icons are resized uh, quite a bit and uh, it's 85% reduced. We have got curveful effect going on uh, on our dock and no labels at all. So guys, this is essentially uh, uh, Spring to Mind. As you guys also can see, we have uh, no background in our folders and we can also swipe. Uh, let's hope it works. It's not working. Uh, to close the apps as well. So this is Spring to Mind. This is what you can do with this particular tweak. So let's go over to our next tweak, which is detailed battery usage. Next, we're going to be taking a look at is detailed battery usage. Now, detailed battery usage is not a tweak. Essentially, it is a tweak, but basically it unlocks a hidden menu in iOS 8 battery settings. So basically, if I go to general, uh, I go to usage and battery usage. Uh, basically, we have the battery usage per app. So basically, you know that how like how much battery this particular app has been using. But with this tweak, uh, this essentially uh, unlocks this graph right here, as you guys can see. And with this graph, we can really see, um, you know, uh, it's basically like a battery level against time graph. So you can see that at what time, uh, and how much battery level there was. So as you guys can see, uh, if I focus this a little bit, you guys can see that we have. Uh, over here a hundred percent battery at about uh, this is seven uh, this is 16th member this is at 7 a.m. then we've got 7 p.m. right here as you guys can see and at 7 p.m. I've got about 28 20 percent this is essentially a really great um, like a, a graph really so Android users must be familiar with this particular graph uh, but this is something new for iOS 8 users now also if you tap on any of these apps, you can see we have battery use, energy use, CPU use, energies, and everything like that. So these are, so if you guys really know about batteries, then this is probably really inform informative for you. But for me, it's not, I don't really know batteries that well. But you guys can see, you can really know that how much battery this particular thing used, like GPS energy, it used none. Uh, CPU energy, 62.3 milliwatt hour, whatever. So this is battery usage detailed battery usage. It's pretty fun. I actually like this graph quite a bit. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Let me know if you guys kind of like this uh, video of when I'm actually showing the real device as well as well as a uh, screen mirroring as well. Uh, Alright guys, thank you very much for watching and I will catch you guys all in my next video. Peace out.